Welcome to Education Open Source. This is a video on types of tablet compression machines. Different types of punches and dies used. Different shapes of tablets, compaction profile. Effect of compaction on hardness. And friability and lamination of tablets. As discussed earlier, this presentation consists of different types of tablet compression machines. Types of punches and dies used. Different shapes of tablets. Compaction profile, effect of compaction on hardness. Friability and lamination of tablets. Let us start with defining what a tablet is. Tablet is a unit dosage form. Tablet usually consists of the active pharmaceutical ingredient and other excipients which are mixed together, compacted or compressed to form a solid oral dosage form. It is made into different shapes by using different toolings. There are different types of tablet compression machines. The main classification is as follows. Single punch press. Rotator press. Rotary press is again divided into two types. They are single rotator and double rotatory press. Another type of press is computerized hydraulic press. Single punch press generally consists of one set of punches and a die. The upper and lower punches are moved by the axial rods present at the sides of the machine. The axial rods are made to move by using a hydraulic machine. Sometimes they are also controlled manually. The amount of powder filled depends on the position of the lower punch. The hopper has a shoe at the bottom which has functions of filling the die and the displacement of the ejected tablet. This is assisted by the hopper as it moves front and back over the die. Single punch press is designed to produce small scale tablets. Output is 200 tabs per minute. In the actual working of the machine, the upper punch moves vertically left to its axial rod. The hopper fills the die and displaces the tablet ejected by the lower punch let us now discuss about rotary press. As the name indicates this press works on the principle of rotation of dies and punches. Rotary press consists number of sets of punches and dies which rotate on around the platform. The number of punches may vary accordingly. Here the movement of the upper and lower punches are controlled by the cams and tracks. Rollers are also present for the purpose of pre-compression and compression. There are two types of rotary machines. They are single rotary and double rotary. The main difference between them is the number of hoppers and the output. In single rotary press only one hopper is present and the tablet comes out only after one complete rotation of the platform. In double rotary there are two hoppers and the tablet comes out when the platform completes half revolution. In a rotary punching machine, upper, lower punches and dies keeps moving. The hopper feeds the powder into the dies and a weight control unit is present to vary the weight of the powder fed into the die. The pre-compression roller performs the pre-compression to avoid the manufacturing defects such as lamination. After that the main compression rollers compresses the tablet. The tablet is then ejected out. The scrapper removes the excess powder on the die. This is designed to increase the output of the tablets. Let us go further to discuss about computerized hydraulic press. This is designed to simulate the working conditions of tablet manufacturing. It consists of the same machinery as in rotator press which is attached to a computer panel. Here the movement of the punches can be controlled. Thus the tablet can be manufactured in a controlled condition. The loading patterns or the punch movement profiles can be simulated. But both cannot be done at a time. This is important in predicting the scale-up problems and for this reason this is also called as compaction simulator. Let us now discuss about international standards of tooling. Coming to these standards. There are three standards for tooling. They are D-tooling, B-tooling, and BB-tooling. These standards differ in the diameter and punch body. In detooling the punch body is 25.35 mm and the diameter is 38.10 mm. In detooling the punch body is 19 mm and the diameter is 30.16 mm. In BB tooling the punch body is 19 mm and the diameter is 24 mm. Coming to the punches and dies. 
there are different types of punches and dies. And in the next slides we will be discussing about General terminology Different shapes of punches and dies International standards materials for construction Coating of punches and dies Quality control of punches and dies Maintenance of punches and dies And new developments Generally speaking, there are two main things Which are the punches and dies In every tablet machine these are the basic things seen In this image we can see the upper punch, lower punch, and the die Now, let us discuss different shapes of tablets Tablets are available in many shapes the main reason for preparing these different shapes is the release pattern of the drug. They are prepared in spherical, rhombus, hexagonal, capsule, rod, and other shapes. These shapes are obtained by using different shapes of punches and dies. Coming to the round shift punch die set, these are used by pharmaceutical and veterinary industry. Round shaped punch die sets are used to manufacture shallow concave ball shape. Deep concave flat faced, concave with edges flat with bevel edges, and finally normal concave shaped tablets. Oval shaped punch die sets are used in pharmaceutical and aerobatic industries. These are used to manufacture flat faced flat with bevel edges, and concave with bevel edge tablets. Capsule shaped punch die sets are also applicable to pharmaceutical and aerobatic industries. They can manufacture Concave with edges, deep concave flat faced and normal concave flat with bevel edged tablets. Geometric shaped punch die sets are applicable to pharmaceutical, confectionery, chemical, industrial powder metallurgy industries. They can manufacture triangular, benzene shaped, rhombus, and rectangular shaped tablets. Irregular shaped punch die sets are applicable to confectionery industries. They are available with different sizes, concavity, and flat in plane or engraved brake line. Coming to the core rod two link punch die sets. These are usually used in confectionery and ceramic industries. They can manufacture following types of tablets. Tablets with hole in center and concave rib ones. And tablets with hole in center and flat rib. Now, let us discuss about materials for construction. The dies are constructed with HCHC high carbon, high chromium steel. The punches are constructed with OHNS oil hard and nitride steel. The steel standards used for punches are AISIS 7, AISIS 1, D2, HCHC D2, SUS 440C, and the steel standards used for dies are AISI 01. Coming to the coating of punches and dies. Coating is required to protect the tooling from the abrasion, corrosion. Coating also facilitates working with sticky material. It also increases the life of the tooling. Different types of coatings are used to coat these tools. They are titanium nitride coating, electroless nickel plating, PMA, chromium nitride coating, CRN, chromium carbon nitride, CRCM, coating, diamond coating of diamond, like carbon, DLC. CR, CR, and CR multilayer coating, non -coating. Among these, the last two types are expensive. Here are the specifications of different coatings used. The color imparted, the hardness, and other things are mentioned here. Physical vapor coating is a new technology, which is the new development in coating. Here the metal vapors are bombarded. Let us discuss about quality control of punches and dies. Visual inspection and dimensional inspection should be done both for punches and dies. For punches the over, all length, working length, cup depth, tips, barrel concentricity, head. Head flat and neck are thoroughly checked. For dies height and outside diameter. Die bore diameter using small bore gauges. Die bore major and minor axis using vernier calipers. And die bore concentricity are checked thoroughly. It is required to maintain the punches and dies in order to improve their lifespan. They can be properly maintained by fitting them according to the instructions given in the manual. 
cleaning them with warm water and soap solution. They should not be touched with bare fingers. And to prevent corrosion they should be coated with acid-free oil. Tooling should be thoroughly checked. They should be polished by hand or machines. They should be stored in separate cabinets to avoid the effects of dust, flashing and humidity. Advancements are common in many fields. Similarly there are advancements in punches and dyes. Multi-dish punches are developed in order to improve the production. Tablets prepared by these punches can be broken into four months. Compaction profile is nothing but the plot drawn between the average hardness on y-axis and average compaction pressure on x-axis. This helps in comparing different formulations. Here is an example of compaction profile of two different dosage forms. The hardness of these formulations vary according to the compaction pressure. Let us discuss effect of compaction on strength of tablet. Hardness of the tablet depends on weight of the material and the space between the upper and lower punch at the moment of compression. As the distance between the punches varies from time to time the hardness also varies. Let us now discuss about effect of compaction on friability of tablet. This is a problem which arises when the punches are in poor condition. If their edges are worn out it leads to the production of deformed tablets which ultimately increases the friability. Also the less compression force leads to friability because of the weak binding of the particles. And finally, about the effect of compaction on lamination of tablet. This is mainly due to the rapid decompression after the ejection of the tablet. This can be prevented by using the tapered, blunt, dies. Before the actual compression, free compression also prevents the lamination of tablet. This is the end of this video. Thanks for listening.